In recent weeks, Boone County has been testing fewer people, but the positivity rate has been on the rise. ABC 17's Zola Crowder spoke with experts tonight. She joined us live at the testing center on the business loop. And Zola, MU Health told you their knowledge of who should be tested has changed since the start of the pandemic. Yes, Deb Lucas, he says really in order to get tested, people should really be showing symptoms or have been exposed to COVID-19. Now they say with the lack of resources, it's really necessary that people be at risk before getting tested. The positivity rate is increasing. Boone County has seen a decrease in testing over the past month. So we peaked um, in the number of tests that we were doing on a daily basis in mid to late July where we averaged approximately 350 tests a day, and it has come down slightly. Wakefield says people with symptoms are more likely to test positive than people who are asymptomatic. Our knowledge of who should be tested has definitely changed. He says there are three groups of people that need to be tested. Who should be tested is someone who has uh, symptoms consistent with uh, COVID, uh, exposed citizens, uh, asymptomatic patients who are having a procedure. Those with symptoms and exposure have a higher positivity rate. And that, those would be for the development or symptoms uh, or for exposure risk, uh, have increased in number, and their positivity rate is uh, between 5 and 10 percent. Because fewer people were being tested, MU Health closed down one of their testing centers. As the testing numbers went down, uh, it was elected to close one of the two um, centers and it made the most sense logistically to keep the center on north. While testing goes down, he says the positivity rate may continue to increase. Now, as of this afternoon, MU Health has done nearly 40,000 tests and Boone, Boone Hospital has done just over 14,000 tests. Reporting live in Columbia, I'm Zola Crowder, ABC 17 News. MU Health says only testing those at risk helps preserve resources, conserve supplies, and decreases problems with testing.